Hi, everyone. I'm here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. All right. So we're going to talk about fungus and fungus uh, in the body. Uh, we've talked about this briefly before and you talked about, you know, the tongue where you can tell if you maybe you have fungus. Uh, you can tell a lot of things. You can, not me, <laughs> by looking at someone's tongue. Yes. Um, but we're going to talk about um, just what's this all about? So what is fungus? Uh, let's, let's just start with that first. What is fungus? Okay. So fungus can be multiple of things. It can be, it can be a fungus that's found in damp spaces. It can happen on, like a wound that stays open can create fungus. It can be breathing in dust or different kinds of soil um, can give you fungus. One of the things that is so surprising that people don't understand, and I try to make people um, knowledgeable about this, is some, if you have an overabundance of antibiotics in your life, that could be from when you were a child to now as an adult, if you could be killing off good fungus and growing bad fungus, that's why so many people do get sick and have a weakened immune system with antibiotic use is because this can happen. I'm seeing a ton of this now in my practice. I just tested overall in about three month time period, I've tested 10 people for mold and fungus and nine of them have come back positive. One of them has been like, I don't know where I'd ever get this. This is crazy. And she had nine out of the 14 we tested for. It was insane. And some of the things that she was feeling that she just wouldn't have correlated to it was she had an itchy dry throat constantly. That can be a fungus. She has really um, like dark, like flakiness around her fingernails, fungus. People don't think of that when they're, when they're just think it's an everyday thing. They can have joint pain. Fungus and mold cause a ton of joint pain. Night sweats. That's not all about menopause and perimenopause. That can be a fungus or a mold. Um, shortness of breath and a cough that just doesn't go away. That is a definite sign to me that they have fungus in the lung system. Okay, so how do you get rid of it? <laughs> you definitely have to do it with an antifungal, but the problem with this is, is that everybody's different in the mold or the fungus that they have in the body. First of all, you have got to test so that you know that it's not just candida. Candida can be treated pretty um, easily with a, some um, antifungal things, but also if you have stuff that has settled in the lungs, that's not just a one shot done. You, that could take months to get rid of. Um, the other thing is, is if you're really, really fatigued and you don't have a reason for it, test your mold. Um, and, and the other one that, um, is really, really pronounced in people that I see all the time is, and we kind of talked about this, but if you have an overabundance of toe fungus on lots of different, um, toenails, that's a sign of you've got fungus in the body. Okay, so what what are the treatments? I mean, so, you said there's you have to know what kind, but what are what? How do you treat it? You do an antifungal along with um, some a charcoal or fulvic acid to pull it out as you're as you're killing it because you don't want to stir something and let it re deposit in organs. So you have to have a charcoal that pulls that out as well. So it's a cleanse. It's a cleanse for sure, and it can be up to a few months of a cleanse. Wow. Um, so, um, the charcoal helps bind to yes. what you're cleansing, right? Absolutely. And always, you got to go home and check your home too. And there's some great places out there that do it, but you can also get Petri dishes to set around your home. And if it grows mold in that Petri dish in a certain amount of time, you know, that area has mold. So you want to be doing that and not thinking that your house doesn't have it just because you don't see it through the paint. Right. That's true. Um, 
Okay. Uh, if you guys um, want to know more about Nicole and what she does, um, she's a certified nutritionist. She reads labs, um, helps with hormones and diet. How do they get a hold of you or how do they find you on social media? You can find me at the email of the gut girl one at gmail.com and all my social medias are the gut girl NV um, that you can reach me at as well. Okay, Nicole, as always, thanks for your input. Appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Thank you.